Hey Aries, welcome back to Star of the Universe Tarot. We are doing the What You Need to Know in the next 72 hour readings. If you do not follow me on Instagram, feel free to. I go live every Sunday for week ahead readings. I also go live for the new moon and the full moon readings. If you guys are interested, those are by elements. Um, I always do zodiac specific messages here, so make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Especially if the content's relatable, guys. And if it's not, that's totally cool. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. And if you have to leave the whole damn video behind, that's all. All right, we have today I'm receptive that wants to pop out. Um, I'm not open for personal readings right now, but take um, look forward to my website that's coming in mid-March or April, okay, where I'm going to have all my content where you can book personal readings, find my books, um, and all that good stuff. All right, let's see what we have. Aries, next 72 hours. You have, I will express myself. Today I will express my feelings openly, honestly, by writing them down and reading them out loud. Okay, so somebody's definitely getting into some journaling here. Aries, today I am grateful. Today my heart is filled with joy. I see the positive in everything today. Yes, that's beautiful, beautiful energy here. And then you have, I will persevere under the deck and then I am confident. Today, nothing will worry me. All my problems will pass in time. And then today, I am who I am. And I am capable of doing anything that I put my mind to. Okay, so these next three days, it, your confidence is going to be above yourself, Aries. Um, and you're being called to basically express yourself every bit of the way. Make sure to express um, gratitude. Make sure... To, um, to not allow anything to bring your energy down because right now your confidence was put there for a reason. You need to persevere with this energy because there's a lot of building and creativity around you that um, needs this energy to thrive and survive here, uh, Aries, is what I'm getting. Today I will express myself. Wow, <laughs> you saw that? That was so cool. All right, you have Unbound. Releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. No longer, uh, there's a third party that's definitely being cut out here, Aries. I feel like there's a karmic lesson that's coming to a complete and utter end here. Um, definitely by the next full moon. Um, and a lot of it comes with your the your expression of yourself and the expression of, of gratitude and the expression of love and the expression of happiness that you're showing right now. Clarify today, I'm grateful. Okay, you have the ever unfolding rose cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. Don't feel left out in the cold, especially if... Um, if you're the third party in this situation, Aries, um, I feel like some of you guys are definitely dealing with the third party situation. Um, some of you guys are definitely um, beaten up about the fact that you lost somebody. Um, and um, OK, so I'm going to have to say this just because, um, yeah, keepers of the earth, you're not alone. Ancient ancestors, for those of you. This is a very special message for those of you guys that are dealing with a third party situation and you are the third party. They were never yours to begin with. They already belonged to someone else when you met them. That being said, you need to be grateful for the time that you had with them because this is no longer your person. Okay? This is no longer your person. This is not your person. Your person is someone who is open and willing and waiting for you and only you. Please take that how it resonates. You have the hermit here that wants to pop out. Yeah, somebody ghosted you in the past here. Um, I think ultimately you're going to be able to express yourself to this person because they are coming back around for your healing but with the eight of swords here they are trapped at the moment um mind fucked over uh some karma that they're receiving for ghosting you so just understand aries that 
yeah, ultimately, um, they're just wrapped up in something that a, a karmic Saturnian lesson here with a Virgo or a Gemini here that is, is slowly but surely coming to an end, Aries. But just be confident and be grateful and um, express your feelings freely to this person because even though they cannot respond to you or they cannot uh, or they they're trapped in their head about what they want to respond to you they still are grateful for your communication and your love and your affection today i am grateful the star you are you are what they wish for you could be dealing with an Aquarius, but I feel like every night when they go to sleep, they pray for forgiveness for self-sabotaging this relationship with you. For not seeing the star that you were. I'm hearing a star uh, A star was born. That's um, Aries energy. Um, I'm thinking uh, the, uh, the Lady Gaga version, okay? Uh, the most recent version. Yeah, and this person knew that they didn't they didn't take care of you and they didn't love you the way that they were supposed to uh before you hit this stardom ship is kind of like what I'm seeing. Um and they're trying to heal from that because they know that they offer they need to offer you more than an apology. And with the high priestess here, like secretly you want this. You secretly still feel like you were left out in the cold by this person by competition. And it doesn't make you feel the greatest, Aries. And the truth is you're in this high priestess energy as of now. You're in your intuition. You've healed, I feel like, plenty of people here. Um, this person, it's funny because they want to come in and see if they could heal you. And you're at this point where you're like, I healed myself. I don't need your closure. I don't need your... I wanted at some point your love and affection, attention, you know, but at this point in my life, I'm actually happier by myself than I will ever be with you. And that's the secret here. That's the high priestess's secret with the moon card. You're bad all by yourself, Aries, and sorry, not sorry. You're better, you're better by yourself than you would ever be with this fool. This guy's a joker. Could be dealing with a fellow Aries, uh, an Aquarius, or um, a Pisces. Yeah, because once again, this person is so caged right now. They're they're definitely dealing with the still dealing with the um, with some kind of drama that um, they put themselves in. But they're gonna express whatever it was that that this this Eight of Swords. Um, soul cage energy that they're expressing right now in private in private with uh the sanctuary card they are going to come they're going to come express their demons to you and i feel like they've already been contacting you tele telepathically um about this integration and whatever it is that happened in private here that they need your help with ultimately yeah, because this person feels like they are losing their integrity, their form, their spirit feels like it's escaping them and they need your help, Aries. So make sure that you're open to this because they really do need you. All right, that's what I have for you. I hope this helped.